Bear, you look so cool. What's up everybody, Bear with bearindependent.com in a very soggy Eastern Oklahoma. <sighs> so be it. So I've been thinking about lately the idea of a QRF kit, grab and go. And for a while I was using a chest rig for such a thing, but I moved the chest rig into a different system. I've had this old war belt laying around and I thought, you know, it's interesting when COVID started, I was like, prior to COVID, I carried like a pistol and a reload and like a knife and a lighter. And then like during COVID, especially when it was a little extra without rule of law-ish around here, man, I got more stuff on my belt line than a cop. And so my war belt has kind of hmm, been hanging in the barn collecting dust. And so I was thinking, what could I do that would be cool guy? No, what, what could I do with this that would make a nice, sleek loadout? Now, sleek understanding that I tend to go in the direction of overkill. What could I do with this kit? And so, I have nine out of my 10 Cs on this kit. I'm gonna show you what it is. Now, the first five Cs belong to David Canterbury of Pathfinder School. Cutting tool, combustion, cordage, container, cover. Okay, cutting tool, combustion, cordage, container, cover. There are five more that I like to have in a kit. They are the additional five C's are compass, combat, casualty care, compass, combat, casualty care, commo, and calories. Now, I don't have calories in this kit because it's a grab and go bump in the night. Oh my gosh, there's zombies are coming through the front gate. What are we going to do? You know. Not really time to nom nom on a meals ready to eat. However, I do have the rest. I do have compass, combat, casualty care, and combo. Let me spin this thing around. Yeah, no, it's Palm Pilot 1.0, bro. That's right. Spin this thing around and show you what I'm working with over here. Maybe it'll give you an idea for your kit. Maybe it won't. Who knows? But here's what I put together. All right, so we're on scene at one of our filming locations in eastern Oklahoma. Please bear with any chickens that you may hear in the background. Let's see if we can move you back here a little bit. The best, the best. How's this, is this better? Yeah, we'll go with this, let's try this. You are on top of a pine log, you're welcome. All right, so the first of the five C's cutting tool, SE6, right here. SE6, cuz. And it's got the little cool guy canister right here for all you know, your, your needle and thread for repair and your little bit of duct tape and your char cloth and your, and your uh, little bit of fishing line and your weights and your fish hooks and your blah, blah, blah. All right here, okay? So cutting tool, combustion. Well, we'll come around to combustion in a minute. Cordage, we'll come around to cordage in a minute. Uh, container, well, let's scoot this this way. Right here, we got a one quart GI canteen, and I have a couple of uh, fuel tabs in here, ready to go. I have in here some instant coffee, cuz, and this is full. By the way, I see a lot of people running around with empty water containers on their kit. They're like, well, I need water, I'll just get some water. Well, dummy, what if you gotta run out of the house right now and grab your stuff? It'd be nice to actually have some water, right? So this has water in it. And then in here, in this little baggie right here, open, I have some water tabs, okay? So if I had to chemically treat my water, I could do that. Fold that back up and keep them dry. They don't work so good when they get wet. And then in the bottom of here, I've got a canteen cup. Uh, looks, uh, it's gently used, gently used. By the way, go use your stuff, please. Go use your stuff, please. Go use your stuff, go play, go. Honey, I gotta go to the woods and do some stuff because Bear said so. Okay, awesome, go on with you. So there's my container, right? Combustion, cutting tool, combustion cordage container cover. This is pretty cool, I think. This pouch right here 
is for the SOB kit, which doesn't exist yet. Don't tell anybody. But I was looking at this pouch. I was like, that's a cool little pouch from Sojourn Gear. Our brother Cody at SojournGear.com. Sojourn Gear. What's in here? Check this out. This is a Marpat slash Coyote reversible poncho. It's a poncho, bro. There's my cover. I could set up a hasty shelter if I had to, if it was pouring rain. I've got right there on the back of this little, and this is a, just a Condor war belt with an H harness uh, stuck to it. And it's got a little bit of Molly right here on the back. So like, you know what? I'm gonna throw that little pack on the back there. And now I've got some cover right there, good to go. So let's uh, go back around to cordage and combustion. And this little pouch, right, Chira? Y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. This little pouch I've got, well, I've got a, a hanky right here. This can be used for many things. Get your mind out of the damn gutter. But I've got some paracord right here, about 25 foot of paracord. I had to make a hasty shelter. I've also got a Sharpie and a pen for note taking. Uh, listen, if you get uh, blown up and pass out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw a phallus on the side of your face. You're just gonna have to deal with it. I've got also a small razor knife right here. Uh, this is useful for if you're assaulting a position and UPS shows up with uh, some Amazon boxes that you just need to open right now. It's also good for a lot of other things, but that's primarily what I use it for is when I'm operating and the mail guy shows up. So combustion, got a big lighter wrapped in a little bit of duct tape. Duct tape burns. It's pretty good for like starting fires and stuff. Big lighter is way better than trying to make a friction fire. So cordage, um, combustion also for cover. Got an emergency space blanket if I just had to have it. I got it if there's an emergency. Got a bit of a boo-boo kit. Getting into casualty care, I guess. Got a bit of a boo-boo kit in here. Band-aids, small gauze, moleskin back here. Can you see that? Oh, of course you can. Moleskin, we gotta walk. All right, cool. So, and then compass. I got a compass right here with a little micro flash uh, Starfire signal mirror right here uh, hooked to it as well. And then in this baggie are some printed maps of my AO, bro. I've also got a couple of spare batteries in here for, um, you know, the Hitachi wand as I'm waiting to, uh, wait a minute, what did I say? So in this little, this little pouch right here is kind of a catch-all for them little things that one might need when they're operating operationally like an operator post SHTF, bro. Uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? So, uh, compass, check. Casualty care, yeah, I got a little bit of a boo-boo kit in here. Um, combat should be pretty obvious. Oh, we got to put this back underneath here. Should be pretty obvious. I've got a Glock Model 21C right here in the ALS holster with a plus two base plate. And it's got the all the things, a TLR1 HL and slide cuts and blah, blah, whatever. Okay, and then I've got over here on this side, I've got two more magazines for El Glocaria, and then I've got two AR mags here as well. So that gives me uh, a pistol and two reloads and a rifle and two reloads. Also in the casualty care department right here, I've got a stud, Shears tourniquet utility device. Yeah, you can get those at our store, whatever. Um, so I've got actually a recon medical Gen 4 cat in here. I like the recon Gen 4s and I like the North American Rescue cat Gen 7s as well as a pair of shears in here. And then of course on the back, we got the bare fact, loud and proud, ready to roll. You guys know how this works. Pop this open, grab the red tab and your blowout kit comes out. You guys have seen this before. Pull this out. Boom. Do you even trauma medical, bro? Boom. Just like so. So, bare fact, ready to roll. I've also got some muffs attached to this because, you know, I've recently had uh, uh, a hearing test done at El Doctoro and 
they were kind of mad at me. They're like, you know, you don't hear very good. And I was like, what? So I was like, no, really? What? What did you say? I can't hear you. So I figured, you know, rather than just cranking off like 90, 100 and, 140-ish rounds with that Ear Pro, maybe I'd have those. Also, in this little pouch right here, this outside pocket, check this out. Boom. Boom. That's right. Good to go. So a little bit of Ear Pro right there. Maybe we'll, we'll consider that casualty care, or maybe it's kindness to oneself. I don't know. And lastly, Camo. Got uh, the ever-present Baofeng with the cool guy foldy over antenna right here. Love that. And it runs up to a little microphone that's living on our cool guy SE6 bushcraft knife or whatever. But, um, you know, I was frankly just looking at the gear laying around. I was like, there's got to be something better I can do with this than just let it collect dust in the barn. So I haven't decided if this is going to hang on the corner of my bed so I can press my wife and, and talk her into some lasagna occasionally, or if uh, I'm going to let it ride in the back seat of my truck. Get off of there, you damn thing. I've got a bug crawling on my bird back. But either way, I want to use it essentially as a QRF kit. Quick reaction force or whatever. There we go. So that's the idea behind it. Um, there you go. I know, the best camera work. It's a sea of coyote tan. Listen, man, don't judge me. I'm short on sleep. Short on sleep, man. It's all good. Hey, uh, thanks for coming along for the ride. I would love for you uh, to tell me down in the comments where you got it wrong, Barry. You should have done this instead of that. Don't you know that blah, 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 blah. Cool story, bro. Uh, where's your video? I'm waiting. Where's your video? We want to know more about the rifle. Okay. It's not special. Ravage Arms muzzle brake. Uh, Olight PL Pro Valkyrie pressure switch up top. Magpul M bus. Magpul forward grip. P mags. 62 LAP. Sig Romeo 5. Uh, what do you call this? Palmetto. Uh, Palmetto, Magpul, 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 Quick Sling by Cody at Sojourn Gear. Um, super lightweight gun, love it. Works great, integrates well with PVS 14s. Um, yeah, all the things. I like this little sight. It's got some really good red dot settings on it. Quick detach, sling swivel, whatever. Just go do the things. Go to the woods and do the things. Go play. Go play with your stuff. Go play with your stuff. Bless y'all. Shalom.